Where am I? I know this place. I've been here before. I've been here my entire life. I'm trapped in here. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. my old music box. I, I have to get it. I have to... Uh, uh, uh. Those horrible dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box and her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. Time to gather my things. I'd always dreamed of traveling. I was not the same without. Hmm. I think I've overpacked. It's not exactly a clawfoot tub, but you can't always get what you want. Merveille de Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Seas, I think. Ah, the amazing adventures of Nora Everhart. before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. Oh, I love this song. I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. Oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. All right, now it's open. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. This strip. Harry Everhart. My husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it and some enigmatic instructions. Okay, Nora. From here on you're out, you're on your own. The motor boat is ready. Lower the motor boat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hodgson. Well... Here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world, just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. 
You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. The letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, Opal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refuse to even name. Everything is familiar. So familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? This, this can't be a coincidence. idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? There's definitely something strange about this place. If I can find any trace tent. So somebody was female. on this island recently. A miniature va'a. It must be a warning about the dangers of the island. Someone has been chopping down palm trees. A lot of them. Maybe to... I feel quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. It looks like it opens from the other side. These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. It may look peaceful, but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? Well, that did something. carving tool. This box. CW. Those are the initials on the brass key. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. What a lovely flower offering. Well, look what's hidden here. It works. This may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. What a Polynesian version. Oh, it's been years since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders.
This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol inside it. Oh my, this is so beautiful. <laughs> what were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets. There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this uni. I'll draw the symbol in my journal. of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. I can feel the air is denser here in this mangrove swamp. have I been walking? I've lost track of the time. 